So as promised, we're getting ready to talk about all things wedding. We are in our PJs, chilling. You wanna know our top five things that you should look for your next wedding? Be watching. trying to figure out what to do with my hair but i'm just gonna leave it how it is because let's just be honest usually when i'm going to bed i'm in a bonnet but i took it off for this occasion and we're doing this real chill real relaxed so i have my iphone Bam. my notes so we Bam. can talk about what we need to do i can't even talk i just you got really it? excited i was i was talking faster than what i was thinking okay so okay. let's talk about our five things that we think that are important when you're planning a wedding, during the wedding, after the wedding. Okay. okay. So number one, download the knot. Um, we will link everything that we use in the bottom on the screen somewhere so y'all can see it. But download the knot. So what is the knot? Is it a website? It is. It is a website. Okay. It's like a wedding checklist. So for me, it helped out a lot because it kept me. Basically, all my P's and Q's, it's like your little handy dandy wedding planner, okay? It tells you when things should be done. It makes you make sure that you have things done by a certain time. And honestly, it also helped with the guest list and issuing out those things. So I, I really recommend anybody who's planning a wedding, have something that's kind of assisting you. You can be the best party planner, but when I tell you planning a wedding is completely different. <laughs> yeah. It's completely different. Yeah. It is, it yes. is yes. the party of your life. Your life. So it's just like, make sure that yep. just because you you plan a bomb ass barbecue, this your wedding. Yeah. So it that's got, it gotta be completely done right. different. It so be done right. make sure that you, uh, you download some type of wedding assistant mm -hmm. app. Number two. Babe, you just read it. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, pick what you want and stick, stick to, to it. it. So what stick does to that, it. I'm going to say what that means for me. Okay. Let Dante say what it means for him. So a lot of times you'll have a lot of people giving their own opinions. Um, I love my parents, but especially my, my parents gave a lot of their opinions. Good. Some things you use, some things you're not going to use. Right. Family going to say what they want to say. Friends are going to say what they want to say. But honestly, it's up to what you guys want. Yeah. Um, you're going to have people that feel like, oh, everything needs to be minimalistic. Do we look minimalistic? This is probably the most minimalistic y'all have ever seen that. Yes. So, um, minimalistic what? If that's what you want to do, boo, that's what you do. That's not what we wanted to do. Um, sorry, Chanel. Let's try to come over here. Um, you know, as far as your location, your food, your open bar, if that's what you're into. Your venues. Your venue, venues. your location. I think I already said that. That's okay. Just make sure that whatever you choose, it is what you want. If people don't want to be a part of it, they won't do it. They won't come. Whoever's supposed to be there will be there. And I will continue to say that. Oh. What does that mean to you, Ben? Um, pick it and stick to it. Yeah, pick stick to it, you know. Uh, the tux. Yeah, I color. Was, yeah. <laughs> tux. Style. Color, style, color. Cost. That time. Yeah. Uh, I will say even the decorations mm -hmm. or for the ceremony itself, the reception. We got a color, as you guys seen the video, as you guys seen it. The link, you seen the wedding video, and we stuck with that. We didn't switch it up. Matter of fact, the color that we wore for the wedding, that same color we went with the from whole the entire time. We had we, we, we stayed we there. Even with COVID trying to be yes. a hater. We, yes. Because our original wedding was September 17th of 20... 20... Who told her to go upstairs? Oh, Chanel. <laughs> Chanel. <coughs> Chanel, I like she paid bills. Okay. Chanel. She'll come right down, babe. Does she go right down? Chanel has come back and grace us with her presence. I don't know why she was going upstairs without us. She really want to get on the couch, but it's nowhere for her to see it on this side, so she has to have to. <laughs> but, um, baby, what were you saying? Oh, yeah. The colors that we talked about doing, we started planning in 2020, same because we had for the wedding, the reception, and the colors went together. As you see, if you didn't see it, check the video out again. Yes, and people who have not seen it, 
Please watch it and share it. Getting real comfortable because this next one, and yes, I have my leg up on my husband, and we getting real that was cute. We getting real close and comfortable because the next one is budget. What you what your budget is gonna be versus what you gonna pay. Now I, we ain't gonna get we ain't gonna get we, we ain't going all in the, 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 the fa actual factuals. Let me get my phone. Go and get it, man. Go and get and it. And according to where is it? This is more good. Thank you. According to Wedding Wire. The average wedding for 2022 was $23,512. So, and they didn't, I think they said the average guest is about 50 people. For us, we yeah. had 75 people, um, which is a little bit above average. But I can honestly say we still did... For what we got, yeah, we did very good did with very, our, we our, very our wedding was destination. We had an open bar, bah, bah, bah. and we had some very good food, cocktail hour, the whole and a night. dope ass DJ. So we had I don't know what her fascination is, but we gonna continue to talk to y'all. So for all of that, I feel like we did a great job. Now yes. what I'm going to say is. Get a budget, try to stick to it, understand you're gonna spend about five, three to five thousand. Have a buffer. Have a yeah, buffer. Because have a buffer. It, it's gonna be more. Um, but look at the overall. See what you can cut. See what is not important. See what, okay, like for us, we didn't feel like we needed to do wedding favors like they used to do back in the day. Because your wedding favor is this open bar that you're getting for four hours. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. so, I mean, but if that's what's important to you, do that. Mm -hmm. Um, for us, what was our most important thing that we wanted for the wedding? One thing we wanted, uh, great food. Boom. We want people to feel, feel good on the way out, a little buzz. Bang. Uh, also good energy and have great music. We wanted, we want that, that was and a lot what of what we got was good food, good music, good energy, Boom, that's what we got. So understand budget versus what you're gonna pay. Have yourself a buffer, understand that you're gonna pay a little more and look and see what you want. Also too, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. If you're a person that, like for us, we knew that we needed wedding planners. Cause I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it was a freaking, freaking you, tailspin. You were trying to do that uh, first. I was trying to do it yeah, by myself. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to be alone. So yeah. and I feel like I did very well, but I had to go ahead and just, just pass it up to somebody yeah, else. Yeah. And just let them deal with the stressful part. Yeah, cause it was, I'm glad they, cause they really took care of a lot of this. Shout out to A&G Events um, for just making our day with A&G. Hey, so number four, happens. It's gonna gonna happen, yeah. and you just gotta just take that yeah, ball. Again, you just gotta yeah. and just roll with it, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Because if you continue to harp on, oh my God, did the guy's tux is late? Oh my God, Tiffany's wedding dress that she got designed looks like shrimp fried rice. Shrimp fried rice. Wear it. Tiffany got COVID right before the wedding. Yes, she that did. That is it. And I, we can't make this up. Like, literally, and folks that didn't have my wedding dress until 10, maybe seven days, 10 days before the wedding. And folks that, that was all about, about coming. People about that comments, even asked you about, about to come didn't come. They didn't come. So, so all yeah. of that yeah. is what, babe? Happens. So, number five is really what you're there for. Yes. Okay. Very important. Re remember what you're there for. Remember that. You're not there for the wedding. You're there for the marriage. You're there, you know, coming together as one with your family and your friends. We just got real serious. Just um, your family and friends coming right. together to see you guys unite as a couple. Right. And mm -hmm. so, if the wedding part is what is most important to you, then I don't know what your what your marriage is gonna be like because right, yeah. I mean after everybody leaves full drunk and happy it's just y'all yeah, so you gotta it's understand y even though Dante and I were together five years before we got married I know Dante will tell you that he thought it was gonna feel the same way babe did it y'all like oh yeah it's be nah it's different. It's different. From day it's different. one, 
That that we Matter of fact, we was, matter of fact, was downtown and we was getting uh some food and stuff and we just we both kind of said the same what is thing. Where? It's a van. Oh, what did we eat? Five thousand dollars, remember? And then we were, you were you you just like uh, I just feel like I was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. it was just us, when everybody left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were, we're downtown. That was some good cheeseburger. Yeah, and then you just like. <laughs> I'm just saying that, that will happen at the time. Yeah, yeah. At, the, at the time. But, but we in the gym working out, getting right. But anywho, yeah, so just remember what you're there for. You know, everybody there to see you do your thing and come together as one. Yeah. But the main thing is just don't forget uh, it's you guys day, it's our day. Ain't nobody like, input. It's, it's, your guys it's, day. It's, it's about y'all. So. Yeah. That's what everybody's coming together for. That's yeah. what everybody yeah. is coming to celebrate you. So just remember that. And remember good times, bad times, and different. It's what made you good. Y'all, we didn't go super, super, super deep because I just, you know, we just wanted to do something quick, something relaxed, yeah. something not too personable. If you guys want us to literally go deep into things as far as our outfits, wedding dress, bridesmaids dress, groomsmen. Um, accessories, yes. all of those, the tape, all of those intricate small details. You just let us know. You, you I know, I took that back to It's like, tape. Big word. Um, big if y'all want us to do that, just let us know. Yes. Like, we're open. And then but comment just, comment below. Comment below, let yeah. us know. Y'all know we read them comments. I gotta do better about comment back, but I do we read them. So, um, just let us know. Thank you for tuning in. If you, you haven't seen Thank our other you. videos, please watch them. Um, until next time, we about to go eat this sandwich. Right. Okay, so thank you for tuning in, DNT family. Until next time. Baby, come on, let's go eat. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming.